damn it. We're almost out of germ X. <sighs> what are we gonna do? I can't believe the CDC says we have to go back to wearing masks indoors, even if we're vaccinated. Yep, we're back to this shit again. I call it deja flu. That's right, I just coined that term. And don't you try to use it, major cable news outlets. I'm watching you, and so's my lawyers! Who are you talking to? Ah, uh, whatever, but you're vaccinated, right? Fuck yeah. Yeah, me too. And with the real deal, not the fake shit you were trying to sell at your fraudulent pop-up vaccination clinic. I'll admit, Jay, that wasn't my best scam, but how was I supposed to know that vaccines were free? I mean, at that point, I had 20,000 fake doses and a line of people around the block. What was I supposed to do? Maybe tell people just to go home? <sighs> I'm sure all those people that I injected with a placebo are doing just fine, Jay. But let's not lose sight of what's the most important thing, us. That's right, Mike. It just sucks that I finally got used to not wearing a mask and now I have to wear one again. Well, that's not entirely true. Some places now require masks again if you're vaccinated, and some don't. Some require masks only if you're unvaccinated, while some require just half of a mask if you've only received one shot. Which half? The left half. So uh, what if I'm in like Target? Do I have to wear a mask there? Well, it depends. On what? On where the Target's located and what your county's current risk assessment level is, also known as RAL. Huh? Here, take a look at this handy interactive map. This might help. Oh God, no. Light orange levels 1A and B do not require masks inside retail establishments with the subcategories A, B, and C. Category D are bars and restaurants. They do require masks when walking inside and to your table, but when at your table, you're free to remove your mask while eating, drinking, and coughing on the people that you're with. <coughs> Medium orange color levels 3A and 3B to light red colors 3A to 3C do not require masks in retail establishments in categories A, B, and C, but do require them in categories D. And what are categories A, B, and C again? Category A are outdoor events, concerts, beaches, kite flying competitions, what? outdoor dining where the tables are at least 6.3 feet apart. What? Category B are larger retail outlets like big box chains, Targets, Walmarts, grocery stores, etc. But only if the store is at least 20,000 square feet. If it falls below that, then it's in a category in between B and C called B1.6. Consult your local store directory on the store square footage. Category C is just indoor skydiving. Nobody really knows what to do with that. So let's say I'm in a mild risk zone, say dark orange to light red. I'm wearing a mask and I wanna go into a place that's in the category of B1.6. Well, it depends on the state the county, the type of mask you're wearing, and the current status of the legal action against the regulations. Wait, type of mask? Why, I usually just wear my trusty old blue surgical mask that's falling off my face that I can easily breathe through. Oh, silly Jay. Light blue surgery masks are so first half of 2021. They don't protect against any of the new variants. What do you mean? New variants. Oh yeah, the Delta variant is 10 times more contagious than regular COVID, and Delta Plus, 100 times more contagious than the Delta variant. But what about the Delta Burke variant? And don't even get me started on the Lambda variant. I'm never going to Target again. <laughs> <laughs> so what happened to the variants of Beta, Gamma. Oh, those are all out there too. And they've all mutated into their own plus variants. I have COVID! What kind of COVID? All the COVIDs! Regular? Yes. Delta? Yeah. Delta plus? Yes. Epsilon Zeta? Yes. Not. Omega? 
Yes, I tested positive for all of the variants. That's what the medical professional said at the Piggly Wiggly. Oh, well, I mean, you were vaccinated, right? What? Oh, I don't believe in the COVID vaccine. But I have been vaccinated for measles, mumps, rubella, shingles. Jay, if this is true, and Mr. Plinkett does have all the COVID variants, his body will most likely mutate them into the most dangerous variant of them all. The Omega Plus 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 variant. It's resistant to any known vaccine and is 100 billion times more contagious than any disease ever known to mankind. Where'd you get this information? Buzzfeed. Well, I'm off to a crowded concert venue where nobody is wearing masks. Hold it right there, you prick. Should we just shoot him? No, if he survives, his body will produce antibodies, which will be very useful to scientists. And by very useful, I mean we can sell them to scientists. Oh, right. Don't shoot, don't shoot. I've got so many years to live. Jay, go get the duct tape. And as for you, sit down in your fucking wheelchair, you prick motherfucker. Look, I don't know who you are, but this might be my only chance to see BTS, EXO, GOT7, Monster X, TVXQ, and NCTU all on one big stage, and I'm not gonna miss it. What the hell is all that? Are those some kind of new COVID variants? No. It's K-pop. It's, it's kind of my new thing. K-pop? What the fuck is K-pop? What? Come here, you prick. Oh, you get in that f***ing wheelchair. I'm not getting in no f***ing wheelchair. Oh, oh, oh. You son of a f Oh, my God. I'm surprisingly surprised for a man with all of the COVID. I'm going to hit you with the TV unless you get in the f***ing wheelchair. Look out. Ugh. Come here, you! Ah! Oh, stop it! Stop it right now, God damn it! God, oh. oh, when I get out of here, I'm gonna give you so much COVID! <sighs> Great! Now we just wait for him to get really sick, recover, and then we can sell his antibodies to Joe Biden. Mike, he's 117 years old. Do you really think he's going to recover from the most deadly... Oh, what am I doing? What does it matter? I can't believe this is my life. There really is only one solution. No, wait. Speaking of suicide, have you seen Space Jam, A New Legacy? Those tickets were non-refundable. You'll pay for this, you prick. My VCR almost fixed. D do you remember that? Do you remember that story when that was a thing? Oh God, oh, I'm starting to feel a little bit warm. But uh, it's it's uh, something something uh, something we came back to the VCR repair shop uh, to to discuss. Mm -hmm. What were we doing here, anyways? We don't have any VCRs to fix currently. Mm -hmm. Came back for something, and then we started talking about malignant. Yeah, yeah. What, what did we come back for? I don't know. We got distracted. Oh shit! A plinket. Oh right. We we're, were watching the camera feed of him coming down with the Omega variant. Yeah. Oh no. Oh shit. The fucking monitors broke again. Oh crap. I, how, I, how am I supposed to, how am I supposed to see him? Here, hold this. Oh sure. Um, oh great. I, I don't have my feed. He could, he could have left. He could be infecting other people. He could be dead. He could be off acting in Malignant 2. Uh, there's so many things that could have gone wrong. Jay, we've got to get back to Mr. Plinkett's house. Pronto! 
Sir, I already told you, he's about five foot one, 200-ish pounds, he wears sunglasses, some kind of fucking golf cap, he walks around with a cane, he wears really ugly, mismatched clothing, he smells. What? Yes, I understand that that's what everybody who goes to the casino looks like. Well, how could you miss him? He's Mr. Fucking Plinkett. He's a goddamn legend in this town. For Christ's sakes, can you look at your security footage or something? Well, well, well double dumbass on you too. Oh, shit. <laughs> What? I can't understand you. What? I said, why did you take off your mask? Did you find Mr. Plinkett? No, and I looked everywhere. Well, where did you look? Well, from the pharmacy, I followed a series of wacky clues that led me from one comically overcrowded venue to the next. A fish fry, a ballroom dancing class for the elderly, an overcrowded sauna, bingo hall. And finally, I found out that he got accidentally invited to a very crowded office Christmas party. And that's where the trail went cold. Uh, what? Oh my god. Oh. I decided to stay at the Christmas party, you know, just in case Mr. Plinkett showed up. But then I got wasted and I put my balls on the copy machine. And then I threw up in a paper shredder. It's all on Instagram and TikTok if you want to see. No, Jay, I don't want to see. And quite frankly, I'm fucking disappointed in you. Your job was to find Mr. Plinkett and you failed. And who the fuck has an office Christmas party in February? COVID delay. Oh, right. COVID delay. Delayed, course. yeah, because of COVID. COVID delayed, like it was supposed to be, obviously, in December. It was a cr office Christmas party, so it's supposed December, to be in December. COVID, yeah, but yeah. The, the COVID spiked and they delayed it till right, February. Right, pushed it to February. They, why, why is February okay? Well, why it was a March? Christmas party, but it was delayed. They got a Christmas uh, of St. Patrick's Day. Well, they actually had well, that well, in December. What, are they going to delay the, the, the St. Patrick's Day parade party? Fucking COVID delay? It, that was a COVID delay from the year before. Oh, right, 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 so right, 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 all, right. Everything's out of whack because of COVID delays. Yeah, what if the, so 4th of July is in October now. Uh, no, 4th of, of July is still on 4th of I'm July. I'm still celebrating 4th of July from 2020. Next month, I don't even know what holidays are. Was that because of a COVID delay? Of course. C delayed, yeah, COVID. I haven't had my 54th birthday yet. I had a great plan if he showed up too. I was gonna spike his drink with a date rape drug and then wheel him back to the house. Where the hell did you get a date rape drug? So, this one time when I met Bill Cosby? Oh, forget it. I don't wanna know. Oh no, I got the roof and all from a dealer on the street. I was just gonna tell you an amusing anecdote about the time I met Bill Cosby. What? Why would you start telling me some random story about a time you met a celebrity? We're in the middle of a crisis, Jay. I don't know, to lighten the mood? It's actually a really funny story if you wanna hear it sometime. Well, it was a funny story. <laughs> what the fuck is that? That's the upstairs tenant. I rented out Mr. Plinkett's spare bedroom. All the guy does is watch sitcoms all day. <laughs> Turn it down! Shut the fuck up! No one thinks Webster is funny! Sorry about that. Oh, it's fine. So, do you think all these masks and shit will protect us from the whatever variant? Of course they will, Jay. Everything helps. Plus, we're triple vaxxed and boosted. Also, the other day, I went around to 12 different pharmacies and clinics and got boosted again! And again! And again! 12 times all in the same day. I was throwing up blood for six hours, but I am fucking protected against COVID. My blood is 75% vaccine now. I can't see out of my right eye, but that's okay. I'm not gonna get Omicron. Jesus Christ, Mike, calm down. They say that the Omicron variant is starting to burn itself out. What? Well, how could that be? Shouldn't there be another variant that's even stronger? Uh, and then another variant? And then another one? 
one after the other that gets stronger and stronger. Well, I don't want it to end, Jay. More variants, more variants, endless fucking variants, endless, endless, Jay. I, 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 I just want, I want this forever. I want it, I want it forever, Jay. I, I don't know how to tell you this, and, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's just that this pandemic has been going on for so long. I don't know how to live any other way. <laughs> Mr. Plinkett, where have you been? Well, not that it's any of your business, but I was at the casino, the pharmacy, uh, a fish fry, and I went to my ballroom dancing class, uh, the sauna. Oh, and then I accidentally got an evite to an office Christmas party. I must have sent it to the wrong email. But I went anyway, you know, for the cold food and the hot sex. <laughs> it was a wild party. Some lady was Xeroxing her balls in the copy machine. Why would you say it was a lady if she had balls? Jerry, I just joined the Twitter, and I learned it's not okay to assign gender to anybody. She was a pretty little lady with a beard. I'm sure it was a man. And you're assigning gender by saying it was a lady. Get woke, bro. You guys, this is the stupidest conversation ever. Mr. Plinkett, what happened with your COVID? Oh, yeah, no, I, I went and got a test. I had the Omicron variant. Yeah, but just felt like a mild cold, and then I got better. But, but I thought you had the dreaded Omega variant. You know, the thing that I made up inside my own head? Omega variant? What the fuck is that? But Mike, you should be happy. There is no Omega variant. The pandemic is slowly burning itself out. Fucking finally. But Jay, our plan, we were going to knock Mr. Plinkett unconscious with a bowling trophy, then slit his wrists and drain out all of his blood into 12 different buckets, and then pour his blood into used coffee filters, you know, to strain out those precious Omega variant antibodies, and then make our own vaccine in a margarita mixer. Then we take that vaccine and march right up to the front door of the White House wearing clown costumes and sell that vaccine to Joe Biden. And then they'd award us the Medal of Freedom. Mike, I think it's time to admit that this scam is over. And like all of our scams, it didn't end with us being rich or powerful. Uh, uh, hey, hey guys, uh, you, you wanna watch a movie? Huh, huh? I, I just picked this up from the Red Box. Remember Redbox? They have one at my bingo hall. It's for people who don't know what an internet is. This is the new Bruce Willis movie. Which, Which one? one? Apex? American Siege? Out of Death? Hard Kill? Cosmic Sin? Midnight in the Switchgrass? Survive the Night? Survive the Game? Deadlock? Breach? Fortress? Which one? Which movie is it? Oh, look guys, this whole conversation has made me tired. I need to go take a nap. Well, Mike, what do you say we fire up the 127-inch TV and see what Bruce Willis has been up to? 